At that point, I had been going to Saskatoon to get my GED. So I had been there a year getting my GED and going to school. I was one of the people who had been taken out of the city. The Saskatoon police had picked me up. It was either on 20th or 21st Avenue in Saskatoon. And I remember the police picked me up on the street. I wasn't doing anything. And they basically, this was prior to the whole night case. Casualties were that there were dead people. They did freeze to death. And they stopped. And I remember, I remember I had done nothing wrong. I wasn't causing a disturbance. Yes, I was intoxicated. But I w I'm not a violent person. Or I'm not the confrontational type that I have to raise a little hell. You know, you know, get a few bottles in me and I'm banging the table and, you know, it, that's not me. And so that was what threw me off, was why? Why are they bothering me? I didn't do nothing. What did I do to warrant this? Because there was nothing to warrant what would happen to me. They put me in the back seat of the police car. I, I remember they were driving me towards the northwestern section of the city and if you're familiar with Saskatoon the university is located in the northwestern part of the se part of the city and i remember the the main bridge that connects the two divides because there's a river uh, which is actually very scenic and photographic which the, if you look at Saskatoon postcards they often show these two bridges because uh, they're very beautiful. Anyways, I remember at that point kind of being reserved and I wasn't at all lippy and I was definitely not confrontational because I kind of knew something was up. But what I didn't know. They drove me again to the northwestern part of the city. They drove me down a gravel road. I remember that they were driving me down a gravel road and it was dark out and there was snow and in my mind I'm wondering what is going on here they they at some point stopped and I got taken out of the back seat of the car and they took my shoes and my jacket they there were no words spoken they didn't say nothing to me they didn't swear at me, they didn't assault me, they didn't curse me. They didn't do nothing but take my jacket and my shoes. Where they threw them was in the back seat of the police car. And then they just left. I found that all surreal, like it was some kind of dream. Because this is not how society functions. And I remember walking back towards the city down this gravel road. An elderly couple had been driving back home from Saskatoon and they later explained to me that they were uh, doing a late night event with celebrating their anniversary and they were now heading back home and uh, they, they basically picked me up and they were my rescuers for that night. They ended up picking me up and driving me back to the city, right to my apartment and so that night I did sleep in my bed but uh, if it wasn't for them, uh, who knows what have happened. It was much later that the Saskatoon police then suddenly changed their whole, their whole process. There were at least another, perhaps maybe two occasions where I did visit the drunk tank again in the latter years. And what happened was they had questions. The first thing that they would ask you is, do you think the Saskatoon police is racist? It just makes you question the rights and wrongs of how things are run. It's like, like you have the gall to ask me, do you think the Saskatoon police is racist? and yet I'm standing out on a dirt road in the pitch black wearing no, no shoes and no jacket and you're asking me are they racist? Immediately what went through my mind was do you really think that I'm gonna answer honestly? And I didn't. I said no. The Saskatoon police is not racist. And it was in that given moment that I kind of felt threatened. Mind you, not in an immediate kind of way, but I, I kind of predicted what would happen if I said yes, and if it was in the future and I had another altercation with the police, or another incident where I was driven out of the city. 
and I, I decided no, that's a risk I'm not going to take. And I decided to, in that instance, lie and, and give them the answer that they were looking for.